My first name is Aaron, and my last name is New. And I'm, I'm here, I'm doing a, a PhD in uh, bioengineering and uh, the KU, uh, KU, Leuven, KU Leuven. I, I came here uh, two years ago, a little more than two years ago. And uh, um, wh wh why did I choose to, to come here? Well, it, there were, it was a mix, uh, mix of personal and professional reasons. But in the end, I, uh, I found, uh, I basically looked online and found this uh, professor who was at, at Harvard, uh, doing uh, who, who had just started his group there and was was being recruited back to to Leuven, um, his, his alma mater, and uh, to be a professor. So I uh, I joined him there and uh, at, at Harvard for eight months or so, and then and then we we all sort of came here together as, as a lab. So it was a, it was a pretty it was a fortuitous uh, opportunity. I wanted to come to Belgium, and I found a guy that would take me there, and and so it was nice. This this related to the the personal reasons, uh, but you know, when I when I finally you know when I when I heard about Belgium, it was uh, I didn't I didn't of course didn't really know much about about Belgium, but but uh, the I mean I did know that there, that there's a lot of uh, good beer here and uh, and and chocolate and uh, and waffles, <laughs> so it but I mean but uh, the, the I mean the reason that I that I came in the end was that I mean. Uh, for for the professional reasons, I knew that that my uh, the lab that I'd be working in uh, was going to to be well funded. So this was actually, I mean, yeah, it wasn't all money, but but and I also had the opportunity to to really pursue something that that was really interesting to me. So um, and then fr friends of mine uh, who had who had lived here uh, already for for a year uh, were uh, were very happy with it here and. and uh, we're really part of a nice uh, student community in, in the city of Leuven, so, so I, I, f I figured I'd be comfortable uh, personally here as well. So, so to, to do research in, uh, in Europe in general, you have to, to do a PhD, you have to find your own funny funding in general. So, um, professors will often have money for one or two students with, that they can pay themselves, and sometimes you can get funding this way. But I was fortunate to get uh, a grant from uh, InBev, uh, called the, the InBev uh, Biolator uh, Funds for um, Malting and Brewing Sciences. So the, the lab that I've joined is, um, is, a, is, a, is a lab uh, that, that has a mixture between fundamental uh, science and applied science. And uh, so in the applied science is largely food related and um, in general it, we're a microbiology lab so we're studying yeast uh, uh, genetics and, and applied biology. Uh, so the, the uh, um, so my, my project is, is an applied project, uh, um, or th the funding is an applied project uh, studying uh, um, th the, the reasons that yeast will, will eat, ferment the sugars that, that go into beer. Um, so so we, we wrote a grant and fortunately I, I got the funding for it. So, so that's, that's how that worked. I have another two years uh, officially uh, left, so hopefully, I mean, maybe it would end sooner. I don't think it will go much uh, longer. Uh, and afterward, yeah, I'm I'm very happy here. Actually, um, it's uh, fairly easy to integrate. You you have to you have to speak a bit of the the language. You know, you have to at least try, and that you get a lot of respect for for uh, for trying. But um, I think of all like all the European countries I've been to, the the Belgians are the best at English. It's it's a really in linguistically talented. It's incredible. So as far as like I'm, I'm I actually feel very comfortable here. Like, and uh, I don't feel. In some ways, I feel a bit like a foreigner, but it, it could be worse, <laughs> I think, and I, I'm actually pretty comfortable here. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I've, I've taken. I took a. So I was fortunate. So our lab was setting up. So so I got. I was really fortunate to have the the time. What we didn't. I didn't have much. I couldn't do much research because we just didn't have plastic and stuff that I needed to do my research. So I could really focus on on classes on, on the Dutch classes uh, the first. But I only, I only took one level, but um, with, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with languages and then um, with, with a fair bit of, of practice, uh, at, you know, with friends and at the pubs, uh, you, you sort of, I sort of can manage enough, I can order stuff and I would, uh, although I, I could always improve my, my Dutch, but, but it's, it's definitely not necessary, but it, it's, it, it's, it's respectful, I think, to, to speak it, yeah. My my advice would be to to really be sure that you're guaranteed funding for the for the period of time that you'll be there, 
and to be sure that the lab has enough resources to, because everything in Europe is more expensive than, than in America. Um, and like if you're, if you're in, a, in a biotechnology setting and you're doing experimental biology, it's very expensive. You know, the plastic, the oligonucleotides, all of the reagents that you have are, are very expensive to begin with. And then there's, in Europe, it's very expensive on top of that. So uh, don't, don't end up in a, in a position where you, you can't do the experiments that you want to do. Because you, because you just can't afford to do them. I mean, you know, it's, I, that that would be super, really frustrating. And I think, um, yeah. Although this this is general advice, I think for for American labs as well. It's like, 